What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. It is March 7th, 2025, and this is another Pi video. More importantly, this is on running the Pi node. So if you're not familiar, Pi is a cell phone mining ecosystem um, where you download it and you put it on your phone, you check on it once a day, it runs an ad on your phone, then you get a mining rate. Um, anybody that you refer in helps out your mining rate, but it doesn't cost you anything. Um, so nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you want to watch my original Pi video, I will link it down below in the description. But there are other ways to add additional rewards or additional revenue. One of those is running a Pi node on an actual desktop computer. Currently, right now, they have a Mac application and a Windows application. You do have to run it inside of Docker, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that, um, and how to get it set up, and how to get it running, uh, and then also what kind of estimated rewards that you can receive from this. So let's start from the top, and let me change my screen over uh, to the, this is minepi.com slash pi dash blockchain slash pi dash node, uh, and then slash. So you can search for pi node or you can just go to minepi.com uh, and search for the Pi node on there, or I'll just include this link down below in the description. Now, Pi node, one step closer to user-centric de decentralization. Access Pi app from desktop and run Pi node to start contributing to the security of the network. So this is on version 0.5.0. Here are the Mac and the Windows download links. There is not a dedicated Linux one yet, but apparently it is coming. So disclaimer, this document describes the first release of Pi Node and the initial plan for testnet, which may not be up to date. Since the purpose of the building Pi's initial testnet is to test and refine Pi's blockchain, the, the plan may further change as more data is generated by the testnet to guide the next steps ahead. The description below does not refer to Pi mainnet nodes, which are currently under a mainnet firewall during the ongoing and closed network period of mainnet. In the upcoming open network period, the mainnet firewall will be removed, allowing the broader Pi community to run their own Pi mainnet nodes. So currently right now, I am running the Windows Pi node. I, I don't know if it's on mainnet or testnet, but I do know that it is uh, adding to my uh, rewards on what I assume is testnet because I still haven't KYC'd and migrated over to mainnet yet. But um, just in the effort of trying to learn uh, and add to my earnings, I figured let's go ahead and do it, and I'll show you guys how to do it. And I imagine the process should be similar once it goes full mainnet. Um, now, introduction, nodes are the fourth role in the Pi ecosystem and run on laptops, desktops, instead of mobile phones. Similar to other blockchains, Pi nodes will be responsible for validating transactions on a distributed ledger and resolving the challenges in main maintaining a distributed currency by having all nodes come to a consensus on the order for new transactions that are being recorded. I'm not going to read all this, so if you want to go and, and dive into all of it, go and check that link out. Um, but there are levels of node participation. So there is a straight-up computer app, refers to only using a desktop Pi app, which basically looks like you're emulating a phone on top of your computer, which I'll show you that here shortly as well. Um, it enables pioneers who want to interact with the Pi app from their computers, so it has similar functionalities to the mobile app. Now, you do have to have it on a mobile app first, and then you link your computer app to your phone. It's not difficult at all, um, and once you're linked, it, it, it's the same. So the same thing I see on my phone is the same thing I see on my app. It's basically like a remote view, but it's not remoting in. It's just connecting to the network. Um, now, the next step up is a node. Node means the pioneers access the node interface, finish installing necessary technical preparations based on instructions, and switch the on-off the node interface to make the computer available to run the blockchain component after being selected to being a node. Although they don't participate in the consensus, they verify the validity of the blockchain and submit transactions to get recorded on the blockchain. In the future, when Pi's blockchain expands, uh, to more than securing a ledger, nodes will be expanded to include computers opting in to contribute to the collective hardware resources of the network, such as computation, storage, and bandwidth. So right now, they're not doing a whole lot, but in the future, they can do more. Computation, storage, and bandwidth is pretty cool because those are actual usable features. 
And then down here, the super node. I am not on a super node, but super nodes are the backbone of the Pi's blockchain. They are responsible for reaching a consensus based on the algorithm to write the right transaction to the Pi ledger. In addition to all responsibilities that a node performs, they also are responsible for making sure other super nodes and nodes get the latest state of the blockchain. Super nodes also utilize the node interface and are initially selected by the core team. So you do have to be selected for that. I haven't been selected. I've only been running mine for a little over three days now, and I'll show you how that's scaled over time as well. They need to be connected to the network 24 seven ha and have a reliable internet connection, just like running any other node on any other blockchain. <clears throat> so you can look at the uh, this table right here. Uh, the, the computer app does not earn any rewards um, and it doesn't do anything other than essentially let you connect and use your computer uh, like your phone. The node does do um, a little bit more. It actually verifies uh, the validity of the blockchain and you do receive rewards, which I'll show you my reward breakdown here shortly. And then, of course, the super node is the big dog. Now, it says tentative hardware recommendations and further down below, it, you know, it says look for CPU recommendations, but I don't see any CPU recommendations on here. I'm currently using this on a 12 core 24 thread Xeon with 32 gigs of RAM and it has an RTX 3070 in it. I don't see it using any amount of CPU, any amount of GPU, basically no usage. So I don't know if it's just snapshotting hardware and then, you know, rating that because there is a tuning process. Um, but it says you need at least 250 megabytes free of hard or of disk space, not hard disk space. Um, and then the rest is to be determined. So, um, and same for the super node. Now let's get over to the meat and potatoes and actually show you, um, what my node bonus is, which is right here. Node bonus. And this pops up after you run your node, but mine is 1.33 and tuning is in process. This value may change. So when I first turned it on, it was zero. It was zero for about the first 24 hours, and then it went to 1.0. Um, now, if you go up here and look at referral team, you get point or 0 0.25 for every referral, and that is a bonus on your mining power. So when I ran it after 24 hours, I was getting 1.0. That was counting as basically four referrals. Now it's at 1.3, so it's counting for actually a little bit more than five referrals. Um, so my total referral rewards um, is 86 on like the multiplier you can go up to the top and look at how your multiplier breaks down right here so it's base rate with your boosters and then your times your rewards so that comes out to 0.35 per hour um your boosters is from your security circle i will show you guys that as well in the future um but yeah this this node bonus right now is in my opinion um, really easy to set up as long as you have a computer that runs 24 seven. Uh, I always suggest running it on, you know, hardware that you're not using daily. Uh, the machine I'm using it on is one that I use for like video editing and, and doing a little bit of research. I don't actually use it, um, as like gaming or anything that would need to be turned on or turned off very often. So, you know, your mileage may vary. I always encourage people to, if you have a spare computer, this is a perfect setup for a node. Um, now to how to how to actually install and run the node we'll get into that and as this says the tuning is in process hopefully that means they're looking at my available hardware how much it's being used and they'll give me even more node bonus and then in the future if i'm available and i get chosen to be a super node i imagine the bonus for that would be even more so uh that is kind of nice and by the way this is the the node application i'm on the pi app right now so it looks like I'm on a cell phone and it operates like I'm on a cell phone. But if you click over here on Pi node, um, this is turn the node on. You click that on and then it shows it's running the blockchain and what block number you're on and latest block number. When you first start this, it takes quite a bit of time to get resynced or initially synced to the blockchain. So turning this off or turning your computer off and then turning it back on, you're going to lose a quite a bit of of time of node bonus and I don't know if that counts into your tuning or not because it doesn't say anywhere on the documentation but I would imagine if you're turning it off and turning it back on you're not going to get as good of a no, of a of a bonus now the next thing you're going to need so you're going to need to go first and download the windows application because we're on windows then you're going to need to go over and you're going to need to download docker so oh, sorry about that 
about knocked my microphone over. So you're going to go over to Docker, and it is docker.com. There we go. Um, you're going to need to sign up and make an account and download Docker and download Docker for personal use, not for commercial or business use. Uh, if you do that, it costs you money. You're not running a business. Um, you are using this personally. So um, download that, install it, and let me change my screen over here so you can see what it's going to look like once it's installed. All right, so once it's installed, you will get a screen that looks like this. You won't have anything running right here, um, but once you have this screen up and running, then you're good to go back to your initial download, which is... Where'd my download go? I think I might have deleted it. We can re-download it. We'll re-download it together. Um, so... We're gonna go back over to Pi and hit Windows Download. We'll go over here and Pi Network. Oh, it says I already have one in there. So let me just look in my files here. I can find it. Pi. There we go. So you're gonna to need to double click on Pi Network Setup and this is the zero uh, version 0.5.0. .0. Once you fully install that and um, then click run, which did it make a desktop? Yeah, it did end up making a desktop um, launcher. You click that, you run that, then it will load up the Docker file inside of desktop Docker. If you don't have desktop Docker open, this will fail. It will not actually run. Uh, so you do have to have desktop Docker open first then it'll open this, this will be off. So you have to go ahead and turn your node on. Um, before you turn your node on, it will ask you for your code. To find your code, you go over to your phone and you click on the node, um, which is over on the left-hand side at the top, you click the three lines and then you go all the way down underneath chat and hit node. And then it'll ask you for the sign in code. Hold on, let me see if I can get my screen to focus on that sign in code. So that sign in code will be the first <coughs> the first thing that you encounter on there. Once you sign in, it will link your accounts. And you'll never need to do that again, from my experience, three days in, um, then you turn the node on, it will connect and start syncing to the blockchain. They will also run this Docker file Pi network. And you can see right now it's using 264 megabytes of my available, oh, 22 gigabytes. Huh, do I not have 32 gigs in here? I thought I did. Maybe I took some of it out. But um, yeah, so not bad. And container CPU usage. Okay, we are using a little bit of uh, CPU right now. We're using 3% of my available 2,400%. So basically nothing in the grand scheme of things. Um, let that run for a while, and then you can go back and check your node reward percentage on your mining screen or node bonus and eventually it will go up so i'd love for you guys comment down below let me know what kind of system you have and what kind of node bonus you get are getting and how long you've been running your node um non-stop so um you can check your node bonus on the actual desktop or you can check it on your phone as well um let's see here so yeah, so the node bonus shows up down there as well. Node bonus 1.3. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much how the cookie crumbles. Then now you have a node, you understand roughly what it's doing. Um, and then hopefully in the future, we get even more bonuses for helping out run the actual network and doing computation. Um, I will be transferring this over to a dedicated Xeon machine. Uh, because this system is going to be shut down. I have a new main desktop that I'm going to be bringing in, and I don't want to run this on my main desktop. So uh, if you have an old system or you have a spare system, this is probably the best thing to do. Now, as for internet speed, my internet speed is 500 down and 50 up. 
I don't know if that plays into your node bonus as well. I imagine it does. So yeah, drop your specs down below. Let me know what your node bonus is. And um, other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. If you do want to come and talk about, you know, what's going on with your pie and that kind of stuff, talk about your pie. Uh, we do have a jellyfish community discord. It's based around the jellyfish coin. It is a bit jarring because people are like, what is jellyfish coin? Um, it's an inside joke that got started in my channel years ago. Um, and it is, the, we are the jellyfish gang. That is my community. We built a, a, a Solana coin around that, you know, at late last year. Uh, but you don't have to have that coin to come into the Discord. And inside there, we do have a cloud mining section and a mining section. Uh, so you can come in, talk about it, show what you got going on. And um, <clears throat> there's a lot of good guys and a lot of experience flowing in there. So anyways, this video ended up a lot longer than what I wanted. I will see you on the flip side. Adios.